Hey, what's up guys? This is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use symbols to make global editable text. Does that make sense? I don't know, but it's a method that I would definitely have used in a previous job. I'll show you how I would use it, especially for something like banner ads. Um, it's not perfect but it's pretty cool. It's a pretty neat hack. Let's get started. So what we're gonna do is basically create some text. So I'm gonna use the type tool. That's the little T over here. It's also the T shortcut key on your keyboard. Just click out here anywhere to start creating some text. Um, how about we do, this is some text, period. Doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna just bring this up in size so you guys can see it. What we want to do is create a symbol out of this text. So once you have the text that you want in the format that you want, now it will still be editable later, so don't worry. But once you've got it close, what we need to do is go up to Window, down to Symbol, or Symbols. It's going to pull out our Symbols panel. And we can just drag this text over into this panel and let go. And it's going to ask us, what do you want to do with this when we create this new symbol? Well, we want to give it a name. This is text is what we're going to name that. Uh, whether it's a movie clip or a graphic doesn't really matter. Actually, some of these are sort of carried over from Flash. So I just leave it at dynamic movie clip. I don't even worry about any of this and I hit OK. Now it's a symbol. So it's not as directly quote unquote editable as text, but it still is. I can still double click into this. It asks me, hey, you're about to edit this symbol any edits of it will be applied to all instances, which is exactly what we want. Do you want to continue? Of course I do. Don't show this again. Okay. So now that I'm inside the symbol, you can see I'm inside it up here. I can actually edit this text in the same way that I, that I, that I could before. Uh, so this is now a symbol, right? I can just click out of that. I can double click outside of my element to go back to that uh, main level of our layer. So what's what's the real deal with this? Why do we make it a symbol? Well, if I duplicate this symbol, I'm creating another instance of it. So we can do that by holding Option or Alt, clicking and dragging on that, and bringing it down here. So let's say I wanted this version to be a little bit smaller for, for some reason. Now there's two instances of this symbol. So if I edit this, I edited are there two T's in edited? This, <laughs> this is an edit. There we go. Once I do that and click away, it's going to change that for every instance of the symbol. If that makes sense, let me show you a little use case for it. This is how I would have used it in a previous job I had. Let's say I'm making a ton of banner ads here in Illustrator. You've won two free iPods. Oh no, they're telling me it's not iPods, it's iMacs. I've got to go through each one of these and change them to be iMacs instead of iPods. So I've got to edit each one of these text boxes. That's what I used to have to do. Well, now that this text all throughout these designs is formatted the same, these are formatted the same, and these are formatted the same, I actually have three different symbols working here. So I've got a symbol here for the just completely horizontal version of the text. I need to change this to IMAX. Let's do that. IMAX. There we go. So now that text is all changed to IMAX in each of these instances of that symbol. So I only had to edit one and it changed it to each of these. Now because these are a different uh, style, whether that's font or um, the way that you have your text box shaped, how the text lines, how the lines break or anything. Anytime there's a difference there, I'll want to create a new symbol. But as long as I have some reason to have multiples of those, it makes sense. I can just double click into this, edit this, change to IMAX, exit out, and now it's IMAX all throughout. Same thing with this guy over here. You didn't win two free iPods, you won two free IMAX. There we go. I only had to change three instances here to change all of these, all, all 10 of these. So that's something that can really save you some time, especially if you have different versions. I remember one time, like for instance, if you were creating a version of this that is white to blue, what if we had a version where 
the white here is blue and this part is white, but everything else remains the same. That's where having symbols with text elements can really be helpful when you have multiple of the same exact piece that you want to edit like that. Anyway, I hope, I hope this little hack helped out some of you guys. Maybe you'll think of some creative ways that you can utilize it in your Illustrator documents beyond just like banner ads. That's just the first thought, by the way, those were, how, how horrible were those designs? I just made them really quick before I did this tutorial, just so I had something to show you guys. Um, anyway, I hope this helped you. If you liked this video, like this tutorial, like this video. <laughs> Subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.